I would fight this case again. Uh, I would fight the purchase of Oak Hill again. Youngstown Mayor John McNally still defending his actions regarding Oak Hill. He ultimately pleaded guilty to charges and today received his punishment, along with Mike Shortina, who also pleaded guilty. Good evening. I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Erica Thomas. In the end, the judge decided both men will serve no jail time. 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith was in court today for the sentencing. She has our top story tonight. Two years in court, 2,000 hours of recordings, and a 78 count indictment. But no jail time for two men accused of conspiring to keep Mahoney County from buying Oak Hill Renaissance Place in 2006. There's really no lawful basis to impose anything other than a sentence of community control. Youngstown Mayor John McNally and former Mahoney County Auditor Michael Shortino must both serve one year of probation. But because they're considered low risk, they only have to report to Cleveland once every six months. In addition, McNally must pay $3,500 in fines. Shortino said he wanted to make sure his children learned from his actions. When you do something wrong, you stand up and you tell the truth. And when someone calls you a liar, you have to stand up and defend yourself. But at the end of the day, I do admit to doing certain things improperly and wrong. McNally pleaded guilty to lying during a deposition hearing in 2008. I should know better as a public official uh, and as a lawyer uh, upon reflection back then and upon reflection now uh, to testify truthfully. Speaking outside the courtroom, McNally says he's ready to put the case behind him. Happy that the proceedings are over with and uh, to the extent we can, especially uh, Mike, uh, move on uh, with our lives. I want to go back to Youngstown. Shortino did not speak after the hearing. The judge refused to give him any fines. McNally and Shortino also have to suspend their law licenses while they're on probation. They'll also do community service in Cuyahoga County. Now there's one more part in the trial. Co-defendant Martin Yavorsik was convicted last week. He'll be sentenced April 22nd. Reporting in Cleveland, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.